Alrighty, guys and girls and everyone, and everyone in between. Yes, this uh, me. It's my second or third, or fourth stream, something like that. But this time, since I've kind of got to figure it figured out a little bit, I'm gonna do my favorite game ever, which would be uh, Super Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars on the Super Nintendo. Sorry about that. Had some audio woes. Anyway, we're going to be uh, playing that today. So, yeah. I'm kind of trying to also figure out what I should call, like, how I should refer to my name. Like, would it just be uh, 2727? Because it's Roman numerals and all that. I don't know. But, uh,. Oh, I messed that up. Let's see. Almost there. Gotta get the chat back. Chat should be back. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, got the chat all organized so you can type in things and say hi, like this. Say hi. Like that. Do that. And then, uh, that'll be cool. Because I can read it and I can talk to you. And you can talk to me. And let's play the game. Here's the intro. Or, the first intro. There's more than one. I guess. Anyway, there's Princess Toadstool. This is before she was called Princess Peach. I don't know why she was called Princess Peach. But this is Toadstool. Maybe her name is Princess Peach Toadstool. Maybe Toadstool's her last name. Peach is her first name. Maybe vice versa. Dinner. Yeah, pretty cool intro. Shows you little teasers from lots of different parts of the game. Hammer Bros. They're pretty cool. That would be uh, Midas Falls. Get some green frog coins up in there. Second part of Midas Falls. Barrel racing. <gasps> Mallow, who's that? Tadpole Pond, pretty cool. Gonna pause it for just one second. Just a bloody second. Okay. Had to adjust the chat again. Okay, now we're back. Kiro sewers. That never happens in the game at all. Right there. Pretty cool, though. Yoshi! Yeah, you can ride Yoshi. in almost pseudo 3D. Now that's also almost pseudo 3D. Yeah. This is one of the best looking games on the Super Nintendo. Mulville Mountain, Booster Tower, Birdo, Birdo, what can you say about Birdo? He slash she is uh, interesting 
I guess. The C. Actually, just C. Nimbus Land. Pretty sweet. The Czar Dragon. It's a pretty good intro, man. It goes through a lot of the game. See? Princess Toadstool, not Princess Peach. In... Dot dot dot. Super Mario RPG -E -O. Okay, let's go. No more delaying. Hey look, it says Kevin as my name. But I'm gonna do a new one. Your name? Luigi. Nah, uh, that's overdone. Let's do that. XXVII 27 or 27 27. Whatever you want to say. There it is. That's my name. Alright, now we start. Yoink. Here comes Mario to save the day. Bowser's Castle. Alright, so I'm playing with a uh, an Xbox 360 controller, wired. Uh, I'm using the D-pad. I don't know how good of an idea that is. I may have to switch to the uh, analog stick. We'll find out. See if it gives me any travel, because we don't know I'm not travel. Terrapins, turtles. I like turtles, so it sucks to have to beat them up. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Can't fall off here. Can't jump off here. It's pretty safe. Can't fight the fireballs because they're in the lava. That's pretty safe. And you can't fall off here. So it's all pretty good. What's this? It's a chandelier. And it looks like toadstool. Oh no. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. I uh, prepare yourself for the great beyond. I don't know why I gave him that weird voice, but I did. So, in case you've never played this, in which case, what the fuck is wrong with you? But uh, if you've never played this, basically you have the four buttons. Y, B, A, X. Y is for special moves. They use uh, flower points. B is for defense and running away. Can't run away during boss battles. A is for attack. Um, you can move the D-pad to select different things to attack. And X again is the items, which uh, if I had items it would allow me to use them, but since this is the intro, you don't have them. 
Anyway, you can uh, start attacking. I'll get back to what I was talking about here in just a moment, but let's attack Bowser. Miss, bitch. Mario the chain. Aim for the chain. Aha! Okay, so that's what I was trying to tell you. If you've never played this game, you can skip that whole thing and just attack the chain. But the game tells you that anyway, so it's not really a spoiler. What was that sound? No, no, no. It's a chain reaction. Hang on, kink clink. Kink clink. Kink. Link. Kinky Linky. Yeah. Coming, Mario. Fight, Mario. Fight. I like how he almost rolls off the edge here. This should finish you. Yep. He's dead. Game over. Mwahaha, did you think? I was just gonna give her to ya. You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Funga, foil again. And Bowser's dead. That was a big jump. She has a happy anime face. Oh, Mario. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Is this a ROM? Yes, it is. Flubber, flubber, boo. I do have two copies of the game on, like, the actual physical cartridge, but I don't have a capture card on my computer, so I am running the ROM. Hope that's okay. So yeah, that was the intro, Super Mario RPG. Or the prologue, whatever you want to call it. There go the stars. And there goes the map. <clears throat> All right. That didn't sound good. Hey Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by, yeah, came by to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. This game has lots of little visual and text jokes. Like, it's kind of a joke that he hangs his clothes up right there and then he falls through the roof and lands right by him. So yeah, pretty clever. Flubber Boo says, Why have they not made it a Wii U Super Mario RPG 2? They'll probably just make another terrible Paper Mario. I agree with you a million percent. Like I said, this is my favorite game ever. I I guess they don't want money. I, that's all I can figure. That and uh, Square Enix, they have um, a stranglehold on it. Apparently. But still, I think with all the money Nintendo's making right now, they could buy the rights and make their own. Or at least partner up with them. But yeah, I agree. Anyway, so Mario's shaking here. Let's get up. This is his house. Mario's pad, as they call it. You hit A, you uh, walk up to people and press A to talk to them. And, uh, yeah interact with objects in the world. Hey, I thought the princess was with you, Mario. So where is she? Silence. What's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again! Ha ha ha! Again! Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Yeah. Peace! Mario, you're forgetting something. Come with me and I'll show you. It's a save block. 
Before you start off, it's best to jump up, jump up on these boxes and save, in quotes, as often as possible. In case of an emergency, you can always start over from the last place you saved. Okay. I'll do that. I'm gonna save over that. Yeah. Now what? If you're tired, just turn off the fungi light, fungi light for a snooze. Okay, let's go to Bowser's Keep. Halt, who goes there? A trespasser! This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world, and if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. It looks like a pig, lobster, kind of thing. Squid. I don't know. That wasn't very nice. Alright, so I can't go back to Bowser's Keep, because the bridge is gone. So, yeah. And there's Toad. Or a Toad. I don't know if it's a Toad, or the Toad, or if he is all Toads. Toad, you're back so soon. Did you forget something? No? What happened then? Charades. The rich Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario! Oh. I got hit. Oops, excuse me. Oh. The bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. I'd be right happy to. Do you know how to use items? Of course I do! Haha! <laughs> oh, I see. You're just so well traveled and experienced, Mario. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Ack! I remember! I came to warn you that Mushroom Sway. Bleh, mushroom Sway. Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something! Hive mind, Toad. Same tag. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about timed hits? Yes, I do. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about timed hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. He's got more bark than bite, huh? Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. You already said that. That's right. We need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool. I'll see you over Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Receive three mushrooms. Now at this point, you can either go to the item screen by hitting X, go to items, and hit A, and use a mushroom to heal one HP. Or, you can do what he said earlier and use the fungi light and sleep it off. Bitch. Alright. Save. Alright. Let's go to Mushroom Way. Because he said it's swarming with monsters. And that's what we do. So this is a battle screen. I already showed you this earlier with Bowser, but uh, yeah, same thing. You can move the cursor, attack, run away. Use a special, or use an item. I'll try to make these battles as quick as possible, because I know that uh, the vast majority of the game is going to be spent in this screen. Also, with the timed hits they mentioned earlier, you can hit A uh, at the right time when they're attacking, and you can either reduce the damage taken, or... Get lucky and avoid damage taken, so. Or you can suck like me and not avoid anything. 
After the battle, you get a little screen that shows you how many experience points you get and how many coins you get. Yeah, see? Zero damage. It's awesome. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. HP max! Oh yeah, uh, sometimes little flowers like that will pop out of the uh, enemies after you kill them. Uh, that one was HP max, it heals you. Uh, all the way. So, that's good. There's uh, some more, there's like a defense up. Or no, there's a... Um... Damn, I haven't played in a while. Uh... Someone help me out here, because I don't remember. I know there's like a... One that makes you attack again, I think. Why does this game look so good? Is this a game available for the Virtual Console? I'd love to play this on my 3DS. Uh, I would love to play this on my 3DS too. If they had it on the 3DS, I would probably... Not be here right now. I'd probably be playing it on the 3DS. But, um... It is on the Virtual Console, but only on the Wii. Uh, which you can, I, th I think you can get to on the Wii U by going into the Wii mode. Um, and it should allow you to play like that. I would check the eShop to make sure. Uh, they may have added it to the actual Wii U Virtual Console, but I don't think they have yet. Although they do have another one of my favorite games of all time, which would be... Uncharted Waters, New Horizons. It's a, uh, it's an RPG. But uh, I'll probably play that one day, and that will uh, for a long time actually, because that takes quite a long time to play. Anyway, so I saved Toad from the Goomba. Yeah. Phew, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Honey syrup. In this game, syrups are uh, the things that restore your flower points. If you think of it like they're nectar, so I guess it would kind of make sense that your flower points get restored. Recovers 10 flower points. I already have 10 flower points because I haven't used any specials, so I'm not going to use it. It's good to save those, though, if you uh, use a lot of magic or special moves I don't know if this is true but I heard that the term Goomba um, is like a racist term for Italians I don't know if that's true or not Checking in with Flubberboo, seeing, uh, making sure they can hear me. Because that would be bad if they couldn't. Okay. So, uh, once you level up, highest level is 20 in this game, but uh, every time you level up, I think I may be incorrect, it may be level 30. Either way, every time you level up, you get to pick um, stats to increase. You can uh, increase your power, you can increase your hit points. Or you can increase your special attack and defense. Or magic attack and defense. I like to check each one to see which one gives me the biggest bonus. Power, that only gives me one. Max HP gives me three. Magic attack gives me three and one. I think I'm going to go with the magic or the special. Because I know there are some bosses coming up. And it's always good to do as much damage as possible. And to avoid as much damage as possible. Oh, I should probably move my cursor. Sorry about that. Ah! Uh, no, I was saying that I think, and I could be wrong, I think Goomba is a racist term for Italians. Uh, like people from Italy. Again, I don't know if that's true. Uh, just something I heard. 
could be totally wrong, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, so this is an isometric kind of game, uh, three quarters overlay, pretty popular style for games back in the 90s. Um, another one of my favorite games uses the same kind of style, uh, that would be StarCraft and Brood War on the PC. Just a little tidbit. Uh, but there's a big focus on exploration and platforming, even though it is an RPG. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to try to explore everything that uh, I can remember. Uh, all the little secret areas and... Um, kind of Easter eggs and stuff like that. Like this flower right here, you jump on it and it spins you around, you hit the jump button and it jumps off in the direction you're pointing. I also like to get uh, all the enemies in one in all the areas uh, just so I can get max HP or uh, XP to level up. Oh yes, uh, Flubber, there's uh, quite a lot of enemies but this is the... this is kind of like the intro stage you know, like when you play uh, Super Mario Brothers, you basically only have Goombas and um, Koopas for the first few levels, and you get like the spiky uh, guys and the Lakitus and stuff like that. You'll see very soon there are some different enemies. Toad is captured by uh, Sky Troopa, is what they're called apparently. Um, so we're gonna kick their ass. Also, sometimes you can get items after battles. Uh, it's kind of cool. Boy, was that a close call. Or, boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. Received a flower tab. What's a flower tab, you ask? <laughs> well, it's an item. And it raises your flower points by one. So, you can see right now, I've got 11 flower points. If I use this, I'll have 12 max. And it also... Uh, restores your flower points up to your maximum amount. Um, there's a treasure chest there, but if you walk, you get ambushed. I like to wait to beat this group of Goombas uh, first, and then get the treasure chest because it heals you. There's a mushroom inside. So all the damage I just took, which is four damage total, um, that'll be healed. Um, so mushrooms that you, item mushrooms that you find, and uh, mushrooms that you find in treasure boxes like this, they're two different things. Uh, the ones you find in treasure boxes you can't actually use. They're not items that you keep on you. They're a one-time kind of thing, and they heal your uh, hit points and your flower points to maximum. So yeah, as you can see, there's a spiky, which is a, a new enemy. So far, we've had goombas, the turtles from the Original Bowser's Keep and Sky Troopers. I think I may have said that already. Uh, Spikies, there we go. So there's a Lakitu right there, and he's dropping them. Uh, so there's one right here that runs out. I like to beat them because, like I said, there's a boss coming up. Get that XP, yo. I find it best to focus fire on one enemy at a time instead of spreading out your resources. Um, helps kill him faster. There's another one that tries to ambush you there. Yeah, that grind, man. Uh, there are objects later in the game. Uh, there's one that's uh, you can buy with the frog coins, which you'll see later. Uh, frog coins are green. They're kind of large. Uh, they're kind of rare. You can exchange those with an NPC later who um, will give you an item to double your XP. Uh, sometimes if you get lucky, you can play these... Um, 
in mini games at the end of the battle. You can double your XP or your coins. Uh, when it's a small amount, it's kind of it doesn't really matter one way or the other. But I'll do it anyway just to show you. So it's basically the cup game or the shell game. It spins uh, three Yoshi eggs around, one of which has Yoshi, uh, two of which do not. I'll go ahead and let Flubberboo tell me. Uh, let me decide which one to get here. Um, and to answer your question, yes, there are weapons. There are weapons. There's lots of weapons, actually, surprisingly. Um, there's also armor and accessories. So, pretty unique, I guess, to a Mario game. Because, you can, well, I guess not really. If you play Paper Mario, you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it's pretty tough. I used to be really good at it uh, when I was younger on the Super Nintendo. Um, I can actually follow it. I didn't even pay attention to that one, so I'm leaving it up to you. Ugh, it's wrong, but number one. Let's see. Let's see. I can hardly wait. Oh, It's actually the middle one. Um, so there's wrong, right, and tie. If you get wrong, you get nothing. If you get Tai, you get the original amount that you were going to get anyway. If you get Yoshi, you get double. So, in that case, I got zero coins, which really doesn't matter. You can get coins very easily in this game. Alright, so, I'm going to check my level here. Again, you hit X to uh, <laughs> bring up the menu. Also, another cool trick... Maybe. Ah, ah! I, oh no! Oh no! That's not good. Maybe I can rewind. That was shitty. I accidentally rewound. Ha! Uh, oops. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's a way to go back. Go back. I don't think there is. Uh, I'm looking for it. Well, that's not what I meant to do. But uh, I know there is a way you can change the... It's kind of a little Easter egg where you can change the direction that the, um, the menu scrolls in the background. I thought you held L and R. And... Uh, did the direction thing. So I hope Flubberboo decides to stay, to stay around for this. Uh, I'm just going to try to grind through these guys real quick. Because I do need that XP. I'm not going to try that again. I don't want to have to start over again. So no more goofing around with the controls. Alright, let's get it on. Oh, also, holding Y in this game uh, makes you run or walk faster. Just like any other Mario game. So it's got that uh, platforming element to it. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm so quiet right now. I'm just trying to get through this. Ah, I can't believe I did that. It's not like I lost a lot, though. It's not like I beat the boss and then did that. So, not too bad. I've listened to this music... Uh, so many times. I probably replayed this game. No lie. I would say at least 15 times. And I've listened to the soundtrack 
just by itself countless times. We just check on the guy real quick or person. Flubber boo. Alright. What if just a random keystroke that made it rewind? That's a possibility. Um, I'm sure that's what happened. It's either one baked into the game or into the emulator. I'm not really sure. I'll double my coins, maybe. Let's see, watch it. Yeah! I got two extra coins for that. I'm so cool. Okay. I'm not even going to uh, bother with the dialogue after I beat him. Because <laughs> we already saw that. Been there, done that. Old news. Time to move on. Can't live in the past. Don't care. Get lost. Uh, Flubber Boo, yes, this is definitely my... M oh, I didn't realize I'm about to die, by the way. Um, that would have been great. Uh, this is definitely my most replayed game, yes. Um, I would say a close second would be Kirby Superstar, also on the Super Nintendo. Have you ever played that? It's uh, pretty amazing. In fact, I plan on streaming that, so... Not to be uh, one of those guys, but you should subscribe because I will definitely uh, stream Kirby Superstar one day. This is my second stream ever, by the way. Um, first one was The Legend of Zelda. I played that for about an hour. Never played that before, so lots of dying. You should check that out. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I already said it, but this was the first video game I ever bought with my own money. Um, when I was, I guess, seven years old, because I believe it came out 1998. Or, I'm sorry. I believe it came out in 1996. I was born in 89. Uh, so yeah, I was seven years old when I bought this game. I bought it at Walmart with my own allowance money. And, uh, yeah. Never played an RPG before that, really. Um, and I don't really play a ton of RPGs as it is now. But I really like this one. It's awesome. Uh, do I have a YouTube channel? I do. Um, but I haven't set it up with the thing, uh, the, like the Twitch and all the videos and stuff like that. Um... But yeah, if you if you want to follow me on here, uh, I think there's a way to private message, but I'm not really sure. But I can send you my email, uh, or you can give me yours or whatever, and I can let you know when I actually get YouTube set up. I literally started streaming, I think today. Uh, if not today, then yesterday morning um, so you're like one of the first ones to show up thank you by the way that's awesome that you uh, decided to stick around so far alright there we go now we're back to the spiky dudes let's fight them get that XP going back up one hit LOZ videos. Yeah, uh, it's um, 
if you go to my profile on here on Twitch, it's um, I don't I'm not again. This is my first day streaming, so I'm not 100% sure how to describe it to you. But uh, there is a way to view like I think they're called VODs, video on demand, I think, or archive video or recent streams, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's about 58 minutes. But unfortunately, the first 30 minutes, um, apparently Twitch has some kind of music DRM thing where if they detect a, quote, copyrighted music track, uh, they actually mute the stream for 30 minutes. Uh, now, it doesn't affect live streams, which is probably why you're able to hear me right now. Um, but any recorded video that's like already sitting on their servers um, has that stupid crap built into it. So yeah, um, unfortunately the first 30 minutes of that Zelda video have no audio because reasons. And it sucks. But like I said, it's 58 minutes so you, you can hear the rest of it. Um, it doesn't have anything fancy. It doesn't have like the chat on the side. I just figured out how uh, how to do that not too long ago. It doesn't have any logos or overlays or anything like that. Um, but it's just the to create. <laughs> yeah, where thumbs wide open. Yeah, no. Um, it was I wasn't listening to anything. I, it was actually the game audio, and I guess the Legend of Zelda theme music caught the uh, robot's ear and they decided I don't deserve to speak or anything. Let's check that HP because... okay. Level 2. Status is where you can check your level. So next level at 10. 10 X eh, XP. Maybe I can get lucky and get 10 XP out of these guys. Doubtful. Lucky. Hey. We'll see. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Double your XP. All right. Keep an eye on this, Swap Brew. I'm counting on you. Although it'll be hard to do because um, the stream. And all that. But yeah, help me out with this. Here we go. Keep an eye out. Watch for Yoshi. I lost it. I want to say it's the middle one, but I don't know. What do you think? Middle, left, right. Uh... And this probably won't even be the difference between leveling up or not, since I needed 10. I got 2, so this would double it to four. Number two. I always thought Nick Cage was a better singer than an actor. I didn't even know... Uh, I had no idea that um, Nicolas Cage sang. Oh. Well, it wasn't the middle one, but uh, I didn't lose anything either, so... Nothing wrong with that. Gonna have to heal soon. I don't remember if you... Oh, oh, hey! Okay, yeah. Uh, there's a lot more of those guys now than there were last time. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a mushroom to play it safe. Because I don't want to die. I'm also gonna use a flower tab. Actually, let's check that eight, uh, uh, XP. Six more. I don't think they can take seven out of me in one battle. Although I could be wrong. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Time to use a mushroom. God damn. And sometimes, uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with button mashing. Um, but I do it a lot when I use an item. Um, 
But sometimes you'll get a freebie, which means you get the effect of the item, but it doesn't take the item from your inventory. So you get a free, uh, free item, basically. So yeah. Uh, if you die, do you go back to the last save? Yes, which, if you recall, the last save was uh, at the house with the pipe on it, talking to Toad, so... Actually, no, I am incorrect. It was at the flower place, um... I think. I don't know. But I didn't want to take that chance, though, and have to go through this again. So... That should be the level right there. If not, I can do one more. I'm doing one more. Level 3, uh, the reason I'm trying to get to it is because it will give me um, my second special attack, which is Fire Orb, which you'll see here pretty shortly. I'm not going to risk it on the, eight, on the XP. And that was a good decision. Level 3! Mario learns Fire Orb. Alright, let's check him. Two and one. Three. And one and one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go... That's a tough one. Let's just go with power, so I can do more damage. Um, do you form a party at any point? Yes. Yes, you do. Um, I will show you that when it happens. I think I'm going to grind a few more of these guys for just a little bit more XP. Try to make it go quick. Oh yeah, there's another flower that uh, I just got right there. Attack up during the battle. During the remainder of the battle, it makes your damage go up. So, damage that you do, not damage that you take. But yeah, this is kind of a semi-decent uh, XP grind for the early game. Um, I wouldn't recommend staying here for too long, but uh, you can get some uh, XP. And I guess if you were really determined, you can probably get to level 4. Maybe 5? I highly doubt it. But it's possible. Yeah, um, to answer your question with some more detail, um, your party will consist of up to three characters at a time. We'll meet the first one relatively soon after I get this boss fight done. Again, just grinding a few of these guys. I'll do it for the coins, not going to risk it for the, the XP. Let's go with right. Uh, right was wrong. <laughs> do you control them as well? Yes, you do. Um, you control them in battle. You don't control them on the... Uh, what you would call the adventure screen, or the overworld. Um, you only ever control Mario during that. But in the battles, yes, you, it's, uh, it becomes a bit more strategic because each character has their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, there are some that are pure attack. There are some that are uh, more of a support or healer role. Um, there's some that are in between. I would say Mari would be uh, the main at attacker for now. We'll get to meet some more later. I just don't want to spoil it for you uh, and tell you who the characters are. Because this is a story-driven game. Um, I know it doesn't look like it right now since all I'm doing is grinding. I saw another one pop, so after this one and the one more after it, I'll go straight for the boss. Don't want to spend all day... Uh, Grinding. But yeah, the Lakitu, he'll just keep dropping them. I, 
hope it's Cloud. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, again, without spoiling it, I will tell you that sadly it is not Cloud from Final Fantasy. Um, that would have been cool though. But I don't think Cloud existed yet. Um, I want to say this came out before Final Fantasy VII. So anyway, after this little area here, you'll want to go right and you'll run into this guy. Hey, you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. What the fu- oh, Okay. I've never had that happen. Uh, an enemy just walked into me. To be fair, I was in the... Um, I wasn't in like a battle... Uh, scene right there. So... Yeah. So Toad's freaking out. This guy's huge. Uh, he already told me to back away and his hammer doesn't like... Go away. But uh, if you walk closer... Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. And it's a boss battle. This is why I got Fire Orb because it does good stuff. Now, if you remember earlier, I did say you want to go ahead and focus... Uh, all your energy on one uh, enemy at a time. I think this is the only exception. Um, on this one, you'll want to spread out your fire orb to both of them. So do one, then do the other. Uh, fire orb, by the way, is you mash uh, Y. The more you press it, the more damage it does. Uh, but the reason you want to spread it out is because it does about 40 damage each. But once you kill one of the hammer bros, the other one will actually strengthen himself where he takes less damage, makes him harder to kill. So if you get that initial 40 damage under both their belts, um, it makes it go a little bit faster. Forty-three, forty-two, not bad. One of the cool things about this game is the uh the attacks, the special attacks, and even later you'll see some of the uh, normal attacks are pretty awesome. So yeah, I did the special on both of them. Uh, so one hit knocks them out. You get a golden shower of coins there. Like I said, he strengthens up, so uh, he'll take less damage. Remember I just did 22? That one did half as much, 10. But I was still able to do it in one hit. Uh, again, that is because I leveled up the magic at the beginning and also the physical uh, damage. A lot of people uh, have said that it does remind them of Chrono Trigger. I have never played that game. Um, but I would like to. I do have the ROM, so... Um, again, not to toot my own thing here, but go ahead and follow me on here so you can receive updates and I will I will make it my goal to stream that at one point. So yeah. Uh, here's the battle screen, or the result screen rather, from the boss. 6 HP, or XP, damn it. 20 coins and a flower jar. If you remember last time, the flower tab increases your flower points by one. Flower jar does more than that. Anyway, Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hmm, I wonder if it came from the hammer bros that I just freaking killed, maybe. You think? Not too bright there, are ya? Hmm, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a hammer. It's It has a hammer bros insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you womp them with this. Womp them. Alright, let's see. Checking my phone real quick. Hey, you followed me! I got an email saying that you followed me. You're awesome. Thank you so much. You're my third subscriber. Or follower. That is so cool. Thank you. Um. Woo! Mass Murder of Mario. Yes! No one stands a chance against my hammer. Alright, anyway, you never know, it might come in handy. 
picked up a hammer, in quotes. Let's get a move on. Ah, uh, give me just one second. Toad. Famous quote. Hammer. Yes. Sorry, Flubber. Almost done. Uh, Steam chat popped up. I think we're good. Awesome. So, back to the game. Toad, let's get a move on. I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. Alright. So, we got the hammer. Um, the way you use it. And, by the way, that's the first weapon in the game. Um, which, if you've ever played Paper Mario, you know that he has a hammer. They got that from this, uh, and a lot of other games. I mean, Mario has had a hammer for quite some time, so. Uh, yeah, get the hammer, equip it. Attack right now is at 28, and put the hammer on, it goes to 38. So. Do some damage. He said to meet him in Mushroom Kingdom, so well, that's where we're going. Ah. <sighs> I think the audio is like turned down now. All right, there we go. Yes, GTF in here. Everybody, watch. Although I think we've only got two people now. TD Pit is in the stream. All right, so uh, here's some actual NPCs. You get to talk to people, um, and it's a town. Uh, the way you talk to people is you walk up to them, and you hit A, and they'll have a little dialogue. I haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser's got her again? Kind of funny. You can actually jump on their heads, and when they walk around, you can ride along on their heads. Um, Easter egg here is if you go to the steps and then go this way, there's actually an invisible guy um, behind this house. That horrible crocodile and wearing crocodile skin shoes, no less. Has he no shame? You can actually, uh, he's talking about a crocodile, uh, but we haven't met that crocodile or seen what he's talking about yet, but we will very shortly. I like going into all these houses and talking to everybody. Uh, you can get items and uh, just uh, other stuff. So it's, it's good to talk to everybody, just as you would in any RPG. You would think Toad still liked Bowser. Yeah, she does get uh, abducted quite a lot. Mm, grump chomp. He's in front of a table, so I guess he's eating. All I do is cook and clean. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. Also, you can jump around on their furniture. And apparently they don't mind. You can stomp all over his plate. You can jump on his head. You can stand in the sink. You can do all kinds of stuff. Hey, what's this guy doing? You can jump on his head and do that. One, two, three. I think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario. And you can have a... This is one of the very few dialogue choices in the game. Uh, you can choose what to say. Uh, Flubber, what what should I say to the kid? Do Should I encourage him? Sure, you can jump as high as me one day, or... Yeah, right, kid. Uh, 
I realize there's a lag uh, on the stream, so it's all good. No. Okay. Let's break his heart. Think I can jump as high as you, Mario? Yeah, right, kid. Nope. He's just like, thanks a bunch. And he stops jumping. And he faces the wall. Thanks, Flubber. We killed his dream. But you can talk to him again. And you can say, yeah! And then he gets all crazy. But, uh, yeah. You can jump on his head and... It's awesome. Anyway, so that's that little family. I already talked to you. This uh, pink chick, if you walk in front of her, she does a little joke thing. Hey Mario, look what you're standing in. And then you have to jump. Ha, gotcha. It's like, oh, you stepped in dog crap or something. I don't know. This guy, he actually has a quest uh, later, if you talk to him. Uh, you can return. Well, it, it doesn't show up like on a tr uh, quest tracker or anything like that, but because it's a Super Nintendo game, but uh, you can return uh, something to him. His wallet. Yep. Bowser poop. Yeah. My wallet. Has anyone seen my wallet? And then he kind of speeds up his walking too. Kind of a cool little detail. So let's see what's in this house. Raz. Say hey, hey Mario, guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. Good for you. Rainy, do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? Yes, I do. We'll actually see that later in the game. Which is actually pretty cool, because like, a lot of these little stories uh, will continue throughout the game, and it's pretty cool to check on them later and see how it, uh, how it works. Anyway, so yeah, this is Raz and Rainy. They're pretty cool. You can jump on the bushes. Look at this kid. Jump on his head, or her head. Ride around. And then if you stay on too long, Mario gets dizzy, falls off, and falls to the ground. Uh, you can stop him by uh, getting in their way. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. I guess that's a chick. A little girl. Aw, oh, she wants to marry Mario. There's only one chapel in the whole world. Yes, there is. Hey, Vidoy! I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Vidoy, thanks for joining. Welcome to the stream. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Yeah. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time, says this old toad. Yeah, they're pretty hyper. Um, let's see. Okay, you see this uh, star here on the house? That means it's an inn. Uh, if you're familiar with any RPGs, basically you go into an inn to stay for the night. You can do this in um, lots of games. But w the one that comes to mind right offhand is Uncharted Waters, uh, New Horizons, and the one before it. But basically, you go into the inn, you talk to the guy behind the counter, they say, hey, do you want to crash here for a while? They give you a price. You can decline or do it. Uh, but anyway, it heals your HP and your flower points. So um, it's a good staple to an RPG. You wake up in bed. You can jump out of bed, literally. Uh, and there's a sleeping toad. It's always good to talk to everybody. Uh, interact with anything that you can. So... It's not like I'm always sleeping, says the sleeping toad. You can talk to him later and he'll actually uh, have a little quest kind of thing for you. Anytime you see a save block, it's best to save. Especially if you're playing this on an actual Super Nintendo and you don't want to lose hours of playtime. This guy, this purple toad, looks like he's wearing sunglasses. 
baggy pants, and he's playing a Game Boy. Um, pretty cool little Easter egg kind of thing there. You can talk to him, and he's like, don't talk to me now. Don't talk to me now. Oh, shut up. If you do it enough times, he'll freak out. Oh, now look. I lost because of you. You can just keep doing that. Uh, later on in the game, um, you can actually come back to him, and you can actually get his Game Boy, which unlocks a mini game. Pretty cool. Uh, the buildings with the spinning mushroom are going to be the shops. Item shop. You can... Uh, <laughs> a toad who sleeps next to you in every town. Such a stalker. That's very true. I never thought of it that way. Mario, what a pleasant surprise. One of Frog Fuchsius' grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you here at a shop? What are you looking for? Uh, this is the first place uh, that you can buy armor. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a shirt. Which, if you highlight it, it gives you a little description. It's shirts, Armor, Mario. If you see under that, um, there's also pants. It says armor, but it doesn't say for who. That's going to be for the second party member, which we'll get relatively soon. Um, the items with this little ring type of icon um, are accessories, which it tells you right there, accessory, Mario. Um, not bad. I'll go ahead and buy them. Uh, prevent poison damage and uh, use jump attacks against any foe. You can only equip one accessory per uh, character. <laughs> the pants symbol is a shirt. That is true. Uh, yeah, that is true. But I guess it's supposed to be armor, so it's like a like a uh, torso piece of armor, maybe. That's representative, I guess. Anyway, uh, I like to buy all the pick-me-ups that I can. Um, I'm not sure. I think they're called Phoenix Down in Final Fantasy. I've never played Final Fantasy. Uh, but Phoenix Down, I, if I'm correct, they restore one of your fallen people to life. This kind of does the same thing. Um, you can get knocked out on this. Uh, you can go down to zero hit points. When you do, and you have more than one uh, party member, the surviving party member can actually use a pick-me-up and bring him back to life so they can uh, get back in the fight. Um, so yeah, stock up on those. Although the last playthrough I did, um, I didn't have to use it. But yeah, you can equip um, stuff that you bought. I'm going to go ahead and equip the armor and one of the accessories. I'll go ahead and equip the jump shoes. Revival bread. And Persona, or Persona. Yeah, I've heard of, uh, I actually have Persona 4, I think, for the Vita. Um, Persona 4 Golden, I think it is. And I've actually never played it. Um, I heard it's good, though. But it seems very Japanese, and I'm not, I do like some Japanese games, but I'm not extremely a uh, Japanophile. Uh, but one of the cool things about this game is, like I said, is you can jump on pretty much anything. Uh, there's a little kind of Easter egg secret thing up here. If you jump up here and walk, the game will do a spinny animation and do the peace sign. And he responds to it. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute. And then it makes you jump off. Which is pretty cool. 70% through the Persona 4 Golden. Nice. I got a, actually I got a really good deal on my Vita. Um, I got the crystal white one uh, on Craigslist. It came with the system in very good condition. Um, it came with the 4 gigabyte card, uh, Persona 4 Golden, and Gravity Crush. And it was $150, so it was not bad at all. And it came in the original box, like, uh, came with the original box too, so... Let's see. I order you to stand before me. Okay. I now order you to jump. Okay. 
In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. I don't recall where the... Um, there's another hidden treasure in this room. I think it might actually be... There it is. If you stand on her head, um, she'll actually take you to it. Uh, yes, it was the Assassin's Creed Liberation one. Uh, it didn't come with the game, the Assassin's Creed, but I don't really care. I've never played an Assassin's Creed game, so... Um, so yeah, just like the um, flowers that you find, like the flower tabs and flower jars, uh, just like the mushrooms are different from the other mushrooms, um, the flowers that you find in the treasure chests are different from the flower items. So uh, anytime you find a flower in a chest, it automatically increases your maximum of flower points by one. Um, and then the items, of course, they do one, or the flower jar does three. Uh, level cap, I th believe, is 30. Um, yes, I have reached it. Uh, you don't really have to reach it, but of course, the more the higher level you are, the more damage you do, the more hit points you have, etc. Let's talk to these guys. Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. Okay. Uh, there's an Easter egg here, so you have to be quick for it. I don't know if it's an Easter egg or more like a secret kind of hidden thing. Uh, I hope I can do it. I haven't done this in a long time. But once he takes off, you jump on his head, and then you ride it to the doorway. Jump off his head onto the doorway, and you get a... There's a treasure chest there. Anyway, Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. So, yep, run, jump on his head. He stops, jump off treasure chest. That green coin that I just got in here uh, was a frog coin, which, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can use to buy rare items uh, later in the game. I'm guarding the treasure room. Sorry, but you'll have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. Fair enough. Sorry, I get a little excited about this game, so, yeah. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. No, he's not. You can jump on beds. And it automatically makes you bounce. Uh, I'm not pressing the jump button at all, so that's kind of clever. You can jump on the chair. Can't. I don't think you can jump on the fire. Although I could be wrong. No can't jump on the fire or the fireplace. But no, Vault Guard's not uh, goofing around. He's actually right there. So, Which, pay attention to that. Uh, you can actually use that later. I like to explore. I don't like to go for the full uh, straight towards the mission kind of thing. If you haven't noticed. This is Toadstool's room. But of course she's missing. Uh... Last we know, she was abducted by Bowser. So she's not here. But someone else is. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? We'll find out who this is later. That's an Easter egg. Um, so what I did is I walked to the fireplace and pressed A. And it said, found... Toadstool's question mark, question mark, question mark. And Mario jumps in surprise. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Got a mushroom. I believe in the Japanese version, uh, it says, found Toadstool's XXX. They changed that for the American version. Um... You can uh, interpret that however you want, but it does seem kind of odd. Uh, who knows what it is? I bet it's a vibrator. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't. <laughs> it probably is. Hey, look, more toads. Sir, Mario has arrived. 
Does Bowser have an inside toad? Oh, like a like a mole. I think that's what you mean. I'm not sure. Uh, Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. Because he's a mushroom. Dropped his spores. <laughs> um, excuse me. W where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. This is also a cool thing, uh, what happens here in just a minute. Um, Mario does these, like, pantomime kind of um, scene things. Like, he'll play out a scene as other characters. It's pretty cool. So he pretty much reenacted that first battle. Spore's alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Again? Never mind. It'll be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. Egad, the keep is unassailable. What awful power is at work here? I like how they got that out of all that. Like, he, of course it's an RPG, so he's a silent protagonist, so he doesn't speak. But he reenacts things. It transforms into other people, floats in the air, all kinds of crazy stuff, and they can figure out what he's saying. I always thought that was pretty funny. Mario, her life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. Okay. And then you can start to walk away, but he interrupts you. Mario! I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Got a map. And then he ups interrupts you again when you try to leave. Mario! Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. And then he kind of hesitates for a minute and then takes off. So he doesn't interrupt him again. Uh, so yeah, vault guard. He said to go see the vault guard. So, Mario. The Chancellor has filled me in. Come, let me show you around. And he kind of gives you an explanation of uh, pretty much what I've said already. Um, help yourself to the treasures. You jump under one. Chancellor's facial hair is pretty awesome. It's a big mustache. Lots of mustaches in this game. And most Mario RPGs, actually. This is a coin. In quotes. Coin. The small ones are worth one, and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. A ten. Alright. This is a Flower. The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them! This mushroom will restore your hit points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP. So beware. Yeah, pretty much what I said earlier. Do, do you know about flower points? Yes. You sure got your act together, Mario. Alright. The quotes thing actually made you laugh. Awesome, good. That's what I'm going for, so. Mario has never said a sentence in any official game, at least not in English. I don't know if that's true, because, um, he, uh, if you've ever played Super Mario 64, he actually says, thank you so much for playing my game. I think he says that at the end of this one, too, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I know he says it in that, that might be the, well, I don't know. 
I just know he says it in Mario 64. All right, so we're done with the castle here. Let's head out the door. And there's going to be a little cutscene here. Come back here! Who's this little guy? It's a me, a Mario. That is a statement. That is a sentence. Correct. Come back here! Watch him jump. Oh. So sad. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. That reptile? Boo-boo. <laughs> Sniffle. I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. But it's just not fair. What am I going to do? <laughs> Was that a Trex? I think you are saying T-Rex. Uh, no. If you remember earlier, uh, we talked to the guy behind here. And he mentioned a crocodile. Uh, so did the guy that lost the wallet. Um, he also mentioned a crocodile. And if we go back to this guy behind the house, the secret guy, he has the same thing to say. So, uh, no, it was a crocodile, not a T-Rex, but it kind of does look like a T-Rex. Wow, is that a literal cloud? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny that. We'll have to play through the story to find out. In fact, let's talk to him and see what is up. Y yes Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? Yeah. I'm alright now. Sorry. There's nothing like a good cry. But, why was I crying? There was some reason. And Mario basically did a head disc. Face palm. Uh, my grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. So this is one of the few instances... Um, <laughs> uh, where you actually react by jumping. So she's like, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Well, I'm going to jump on him. And she's like, wow, he doesn't stand a chance. This guy looks shocked. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? So, Flubber Boo. Uh, no. He is a frog. From Tadpole Pond. So there you go. He's a frog. That's what he says, man. How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Let's give this one to Vidoy. It's a, uh, a choice. Sure thing, are we going to help him find the thief? Or, eh, I'm a little busy. Vidoy! Respondez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Oh, well, anyone else want to chime in? Should we help him catch the filthy thief, or are we a little busy? Flubber! Yeah, I've listened to it a little bit. Hmm, never try telling him busy again and again. Alright, let's try it. No, I can't help you. You sure you won't reconsider? Sorry. Oh, please. Pretty please? No! I never thought you'd be so mean, Mario. <laughs> he starts crying again. You know I can't get my coin back without your help. Let's just keep pushing it. 
No means no! Same thing. Yeah, there's quite a lot of delay. Uh, my computer, while it is pretty good for the time, uh, it was brand freaking spanking new back in 2008, but uh, that was 2008. It's already 20, uh, 2015. This computer is almost is seven years old. So, like I said, while it is pretty good, it's definitely not what it used to be. Uh, but I am working on a new computer, which is another reason I started Twitch, because uh, once that new computer gets built, I'll actually be able to stream newer games as well. Uh, I don't have to only stream 2D, Super Nintendo, and NES games. Um, uh, as TD Pit has mentioned, I did try playing Minecraft today, and I think the only reason it didn't work is because his world was just... There were hundreds of crates everywhere, and stuffed with items. Uh, so yeah, my comp is in first grade. I guess you could say that. Seven years old. Anyway, uh, let's see. You know I can't get my coin back without your help. Alright, already. He looks so grateful. The young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. And you get a cool little spin animation there. Alright, another thing about inns, aside from healing, uh, they have the, tre the save block. So after all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and save, because I don't want to have to go through that again. Also, let's go back to the equipment. And remember the pants we picked up? There we go. They're actually for Mallow. And I'll go ahead and put that on them. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, we got a map earlier from the Chancellor. Uh, you can access that from here. It'll give you a map of the world. Uh, you can pan around. I actually uh, made a background of this map. Um, I took screenshots and then merged them all into one and uh, changed it up a little bit. And I made a background for my computer, a desktop. Uh, so that's how much I like this game. I've played it quite a lot. All right, so we saved. Um, we could talk to the people about the reptile. It was that reptile. He's the one who stole my wallet, but I let him get away. Well, good for you. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. Oh, yeah, that never gets old. Uh-huh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I don't think anybody else has anything to say about a crocodile. But it's always good to talk to people and find out. Well, alright. Let's talk to the shopkeep. Because Mallow can actually interact with him. Uh, hey Mallow, what's, keep, what's kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this. You see... Wait, I've already heard. Old Frogfish has told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. He's going to go back to get the uh, item uh, in exchange for the frog coin. Listen, the truth of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, they'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. Got to pick me up. See? Another perk of talking to all the people. You get items sometimes. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? Uh, that should be it, actually. Alright, so here's a sidewalk out of town. Toad's jumping around. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He was here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes. Exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? 
Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh. Give me a break here. Double head disc. Face palm. Come back here. Ha ha. You smugs will never catch me. A snail can outrun you morons. Later. That's him! Hurry, Mario. Let's go get him. Let's get him. I can read. I'll remain here on the lookout. Yeah, you better. Okay. Since we're here, I'm going to save real quick, and then I'll head out. But again, after any kind of major dialogue things, it's best to save, just so you don't have to re, you know, go through that, just in case anything were to happen. Alright. So we're going to chase down Croco. His name is Croco. He's a purple crocodile. I mean, yeah, he does look like a T-Rex, but it's a crocodile. And he's a crook. Crocodile. Crook. So, meh. There he is. He probably sashed in that bag. Let's nab him. You trying to tell me? Go, home, go on home to your mommy before you get hurt, kid. I like to give him a Brooklyn accent because he's a scumbag. So, yeah. Anyway, look, battle. I haven't seen that in a while. There's the hammer we just got. Does a lot more damage. Mallow gets a punch. Once we leave this um, area, we'll start to see some more enemies. And actually, there's going to be a few more in here, too. So It's not all just uh, Mario guys. There's actually enemies unique to this game that are not in any other Mario game. So, I guess we should check out Mallow's uh, special. Uh, Thunderbolt does two flower, or it uses two flower points. And as you can tell, Mallow doesn't do much damage. 16 compared to 52. That's quite a difference. Um, also, whenever you get experience, um, the amount that you get goes to each character. So, uh, like I just got two there. Both Mallow and Mario got two. Uh, XP. They didn't didn't like split them up between them, so. Which is good because you can actually it's kinda like um the XP share in Pokemon. You can actually have uh later on in the game you can have more party members and they can chill out outside the party, uh, but they'll still get XP. Starting to get a little more XP. Uh, pretty good amount of coins now. Hey, look, another save box. Bend its way. More spikies. Oh, uh, okay, next one. I will remember next one to use the special. Uh, it's pretty cool. And it works best when there's a lot of enemies. So the more enemies, the better, uh, or the less waste, I should say. Is that all the enemies? Yes. All right. Uh, you can tell the next part of the level by these little rectangular pieces here. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid. So I guess it's goodbye. And he can he can jump pretty high. That's actually higher than Mario, because if I try to jump, it doesn't go. But if uh, you remember this little flower, you can jump on it and uh, jump off. I can't wait for Mario to, Mario to use that hammer on the croc. Let's see what picture you posted. Oh, ha! <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, uh, so, gotta chase Croco. 
Uh, these things uh, you may recognize from Super Mario World, uh, the blocks with the eyes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight the uh, these guys down here for XP. We got giant frogs, frogog, and we got K9. I think the K9s are robots. Uh, they certainly look like it. They have glowing eyes instead of blinking eyes. I don't know. They they could just be really fat dog wolf things. But I think they're robots. I don't know. Things. Lots of unique uh, uh, monsters in this game. HP max. Yeah, that's a good thing about these frogs. Uh, they usually drop um, those flower things that give you bonuses. Uh, and you don't normally get the flower if they're the last one you kill. Although you might get the lucky flower. Uh, I'm not sure. Dude, he just spit on me. Gross. Mario reaches level 4. Max HP went up by 5. Attack went up by 3. That's actually pretty good. Not a bad level. Um, so let's see what else we get. That gives you 1. Not worth it. That gives you 4. On top of the 5, that's pretty good. And special only goes up 1. Uh... So yeah, we'll do X uh, HP. That's a total of nine XP. Or God, I keep saying that nine HP gained for that level. Awesome. Uh, let's make tons of robots to send them out in the woods so people can smash them. Nice logic. Um, hey, Vidoy, I don't know if I said it already, but. Um, this is like my second stream ever on Twitch. I just, I literally started Twitch today, so um, if it's not too much of a hassle for you, if you want to go ahead and follow, I'm definitely going to be streaming more. Uh, it's probably going to be a lot of like NES and Super Nintendo games for now until I get my new computer, but uh, any time you want to subscribe or follow or whatever that's called, I would definitely appreciate it. Anyways, back to the battle. The more views, the better. And I know there's a lot of people that are into... Okay, before I go into that, let's look at the special, because I keep saying we're going to use it, and I have not used it yet, so... Special. Thunderbolt. Uh, I didn't time it right. Um, if you time it right you get a, like a second strike or a crack of lightning um, and it does more damage. There's the once again special flower uh, that allows you to attack again which is awesome. I love the weird lizards with cerebral palsy. Are you talking about the giant frogs? Frogogs? So if you look here um, I actually didn't get this until one of my later playthroughs, like in junior high or high school. But um, there's another flyer here, and I was I always thought, okay, why is there a jumping flyer here? Why would you want to go back up here? There's nothing over there. But if you look, you can see this blue flower kind of lines up with this one. So if you time the jump right, you get another secret treasure chest which you couldn't reach normally, so. There you go. I got a Caro Caro Cola, which I... I think Caro in Japanese is, has something to do with a frog, which would make sense if you see it later, because uh, you can actually buy items from tadpoles, and one of them is a... Uh, they're all, like, frog-type items, so... Yeah, I think Caro is a type of frog. Um, 
or something like frog related in Japanese. Anyway, I just got a Kara Kara Okola. All members recover fully, so I don't know what the equivalent of that would be in like um, Persona or Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger, but uh, yeah, it heals your whole party. Max hit points. Pretty good item to hold on to uh, in case it gets hairy. Croco. Uh, why did I read that? Oh, you're a persistent bugger, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. All right, he's a hundred miles ahead of me. Okay. If I can help it, I usually go after the stronger enemies with Mario. Um, I'll leave the weaker ones to Mallow. Just got an HP max. That's good. Heals me all the way, so I don't have to waste a mushroom. How's the video? Uh, is it pretty choppy, or is it is it pretty uh, watchable? Is it good? Uh, is it good? <laughs> Mallow reaches level three. HP goes up for. Uh, it's a pretty mediocre level. It's not too bad. Flubber, awesome man! Thanks for staying and watching. Um, I'm gonna keep streaming, so uh, if you want to come back later and uh, give me a watch, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you if you stream, I can watch whatever you're playing too, man. Um, but yeah, thanks for being part of the stream. What's your what's your stupid joke, man? I gotta hear it. Also, Mallow learns HP Rain, which is awesome. Uh, it heals you. It's like using a mushroom, but instead of using the item mushroom, you use your flower points instead of an item. Looks like the biggest bonus is going to be HP, but that's only by four. I'm going to go ahead and go with attack since that's by three. Um, and it's always good to have people doing more damage. Um, let's see. What's ET short for? ET, uh, I believe, is short for extraterrestrial, but that's probably not what the joke is. What's ET short for? He's got little legs. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Too funny, man. Too funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that one. That's, that's my joke now. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I would not steal that at all, ever. But thanks for that. But yeah, uh, Flubber, thanks for joining. Um, hope you come back again. And uh, yeah, good night, man. Have a good one. He's got little legs and he knows how to use them. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. HP Max. That almost sounds like a an outlet store, or not an outlet store, but like a clothing store. HP Max, TJ Max, HP Max. Haha. <laughs> so in case you forgot, we're chasing down this guy, Croco. But I like to go off the path, and there's other stuff, so. All right. I should have gone after the uh, spiky guy with Mallow, but I'm an idiot apparently. That's kind of a creepy attack. I don't. I think the heart um, and then the shaking thing. I'm pretty sure that makes him take more damage. Um, so that's another. That's a debuff that you can get. Um, I think it's called shaken. 
Uh, it makes you take more damage, um, and I think do more, do less damage as well. Uh, there's also a few more, which you'll see later. There's a poison one, which uh, you take damage every turn. Um, there's a scarecrow one, which turns you into a scarecrow. Uh, that makes it to where you can't use normal attacks. You have to use special or block. Uh, or I think, I don't think you can use items either, so. But yeah, we'll probably f uh, run into that later as well. Got a mushroom, not bad. Alright, there's Croco. Oh, I ran away. Each little segment has something different. So. Give it up already! That treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time. This is my favorite treasure box in the game, which you will soon find out why. Or it might be the second one, actually. I hope it's the second one. I hope it's not this one, because I'm not ready. Okay, it's this one. But yeah, it gives you a star, like from the Mario platformer games. Uh, it makes you invincible, so any monster you run into with a star, you automatically win that battle. It's good for XP. Speaking of XP, let's check the status, see how close we are to leveling. Oh yeah, 11 and 13. Might as well grind these out. And anytime you level, you heal all the way. Uh, I don't think you regain your f uh, flower points, but let's find out. Man, still didn't time that right. so that leaves us at 7 and 9. Also, you can use these platforms to uh, reach other spots, like this other treasure chest. However, the enemies underneath will swarm around, so if you miss, you'll have to fight. But that's not a big deal, because I'm going to have to fight anyway. The uh, computer using the little bit of processing power to run the emulator and the stream does make it a little bit harder to time this right, but let's try again. There we go. Got it, but still didn't do what I wanted. That I... I don't know, just the sound effect of that and then the heart. A little unsettling. Like, why would it be a heart? Are you going to fall in love with a wolf? I don't understand. I don't know. Oh, okay, so let's check the special. Um, so we got 14. After we use this one, we'll be down to 12. So keep that in mind. It's hard to get that time right. Easy on the Super Nintendo. Um, but on the emulator, it's another story. Awesome! Mallow reaches level 4! Uh... HP went up a good amount. And it looks like it's going to go up even more because that's the biggest bonus at 6. One more fight for Mario. Well, let's see if it uh, restored the flower points. No, it did not. So, yeah, don't count on that happening because it won't. Hey, Vidoy, are you still in the stream? Just checking on you, man. 
Mario reaches level 5. HP went up a lot. Uh, this time we'll go with magic attack, since that goes up 3. And then the d defense uh, goes up 1, so... Might as well do that. Awesome. That clears up that section. Although I think if you stay around, the little canine guys will come back. Dead in, and they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. All right. Ah, that's all right. It is. I don't know what time it is uh, on your part of the world, but here on the west coast of the U.S., um, it is 8:30 p.m. So I definitely understand. Getting a little toyed. Have you ever played this game, Vidoy? I think you have. It sounds like you have. But I, I, I don't know. Um, I have a flower... Wait, no I don't. Never mind. I don't have a flower box. But I think this is a mushroom. Yep. Okay. So as per usual, I'm going to fight all the enemies I come across and then worry about the uh, story elements. Awesome. These frogs are something else, man. I think you actually do less damage uh, against sky troopers if you're not jumping on them. Um, I think that's because they're in the sky and you um, are doing ground attacks so they have like a resistance to that. I could be wrong though. Tons of times I remember dialing up to the internet to download this to an emulator. Yeah, I uh, I didn't have emulators down um, when we still had dial up, but uh, shortly after, like as soon as we got cable internet for the first time, um, which I think I was around 10 or 11, uh, that opened up quite a few avenues uh, that I you normally wouldn't have access to just because it was so fast. But yeah, I've played this on lots of emulators. I played it on the actual system uh, multiple times, obviously. I've actually played this game on my Android phone. I've played it on my... Um, oh, C-Mac! 276! Hey, man! Uh, thanks! Hey, uh, if you want to go ahead and give a uh, follow real quick before you head out, that would be cool. I had no idea you were in here, man. You are really quiet. Um, some guy translated to Norwegian. Hey, uh, CMEC, that's awesome, man. It's my first time here as well. Uh, today is actually my first day streaming. Uh, I've never streamed before. I mean, I did stream earlier today. I did the Legend of Zelda on NES, but yeah, that and this are the only ones I've streamed, so welcome to Twitch. Uh, I hope if you have a channel, you start streaming too and I'll check you out what kind of games do you play if you don't mind me asking before you head out uh, but yeah Norwegian that's pretty cool that somebody actually took the time to translate it I think it's awesome that we have the internet available to share like uh, everything I mean information wants to be free and pretty much anything can be digitized I think one of the Next things I want to get after my computer is a 3D printer. That wait, did I just say printer or is computer? I don't know what I said, but after my computer, I would love to get a 3D printer. That would be awesome. Um, one of the things I think I would do is print out um, custom like um, 
console materials, like um, different bodies for consoles, like N64s. Like I, I would want to print out like a, a different color that they haven't made before, um, or like a different material. Like they had see-through colors. Maybe do like a uh, a multicolor uh, N64. That would be kind of cool. Something crazy like that. Custom housings for like uh, controllers. Hey, C Mac, uh, glad you're still here, man. Um, oh, nice. You already followed. Sweet. Um, very cool. I will definitely give you a follow. Um, I have my email set up to notify me, and it looks like the notification light is actually going off, so thank you for that. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, I will definitely be sure to give you a follow. Uh, when I'm not streaming, don't want to cut the uh, thing off too much. Hey man, I will do that. Uh, thanks for the, the good luck. I'm not really trying to make money or anything, but... Um, I just want to, like, I've never played Zelda, so that's why I'm streaming that, and this game is my favorite game ever, so that's why I'm streaming this. Uh, I just want to have fun, I don't want people in the chat to have fun, so, yeah man, spread the word if you can, if not, don't go crazy, I understand, it's all good, uh, but thanks, appreciate it, and good luck to you as well, I'll see you on here uh, next time. 3D Mario games, count for a full oh, oh I see what you're saying uh, you want me to count the 3D Mario games okay um, well there's Mario 64 there's uh, Mario Super Mario Sunshine there's Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 there's Super Mario 3D Land and 3D World there's Super Mario 64 DS. Uh, thanks. See Max, see you later. Um, damn, uh, I'm trying to think. I think that's all of them. 3D Mario. I know there's obviously the Mario Party games. Um, you can count... I don't know if you want to count the new Super Mario Brothers games as 3D, because... Uh, Mario himself is 3D, but everything else is 2D. Mario versus Satan. Uh... Oh, I see what you're saying. You followed C Mac since he's streaming 3D. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll definitely be doing that eventually. She! C Mac is a chick. Awesome. Cool to have a chick friend, follower, fellow Twitch person. Very cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. 3D, I can definitely do 3D Mario games. Um, I can do Mario 64 for sure. I just don't know about any of the later ones. At least not until I get my new computer. I wouldn't mind streaming Mario Galaxy uh, 2. I've actually never played all the way through the first one. Uh, first Mario Galaxy but Mario Galaxy 2 is awesome. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take a uh, hundred more years to catch me. Okay. Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you uh, 50 more years to catch me. Goes down by 50 every time. You again? This is getting old. I'll, it'll still take you... Enough. You got me. Fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. Whoa. Did you really believe me? I was lying. Second boss fight of the game. And it's Croco. Awesome. Uh, so Fire Orb works really well on him. And you'll see why in just a minute. Hundred and one damage. Youch. Uh one of the things about Mallow, he has a oh I don't have it yet. 
Never mind. Krakow's dousing and tail fire. Yeah, so that um, fire orb that I just did, it actually made him skip a turn. He doesn't get to attack now, so that's why I like doing that. Plus the damage is awesome. I'll probably, uh, eventually I'll get a camera for Twitch, um, because some people are into that from what I've read. Like, some people love, apparently love watching people's facial reactions and stuff while they're streaming. So, yeah, eventually I'll probably do that. Weird mushroom. He healed himself for 60. I don't know why I did that instead of a fire orb. Let's fix that. Alright. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again. Ouch. I'm going to pay you back in spades, kid. Go on. Take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. All right, we got it back. So, beat the second boss, or mini boss, or story boss, or whatever you want to call him. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this! That Croco guy left a wallet. Found a wallet. In quotes. I'm going back to the shop at the Mushroom Kingdom. Are you coming? <laughs> yeah, Mallow didn't help a lot there. But he did help. Who knows, if he didn't have those 24 points of damage, could have went another way. So yeah, Trampoline just fell out of the sky. Um, it's like a warp to... A different area of the game, or a different area of the level. Steals Crocker's identity. Well, if you remember, um, special item. Oh, item? Wallets, yes, there it is. Um, a fat wallet. So, yeah, if you remember earlier in Mushroom Kingdom, uh, there was a guy that said that uh, he got his wallet stolen. I'm going to go ahead and grind out 18 or as many as I can in this area, uh, XP, so I can level up. Shouldn't take too long. It's like Back to the Future, uh, after Bi uh, Biff gets beaten up, well, punched by George. Did, they, did he just take his wallet? I think he just took that guy's wallet. The sports almanac. Bada bing, bada boom. That's pretty cool, man. The internet is an interesting thing. You get to play games and talk to people, like have a chat while you're doing it. I mean, you could do that in real life too, but you can do it with people you've never met in uh, on the internet. So, pretty cool stuff. Still can't hit, uh, kill him in one hit yet. These guys are easy, which they're supposed to be. But uh, there are some tougher ones later, which is why I'm trying to get at least one more level. Um, which I may not be able to do. That's okay. 
Looks like I cleared out all the guys. I'd be scared if I stole a wallet from a guy born five years from now. I am so slow right now. I don't even... Can't... I, I imagine you're talking about Back to the Future. So, as you can see, we're back in um, the Mushroom Kingdom, but things look a little different. The sky's dark. There's uh, these shy guys, which are called shysters. Shysta! Uh, jumping around on um, what look like pogo sticks. And the music is kind of dreary. These guys are a little bit tougher. Uh, you don't do as much damage to them. And they do a considerable amount of damage to you, too. So, And Mallow. He sucks. Uh, this particular part of the game has uh, a few... Um, a few Easter eggs. So remember the family? They were all eating and doing dishes and all that stuff. Eek, there are things in our kitchen. Help. Hope my little brother's okay. Look, scary things. Get rid of them. Well, he mentioned his little brother, so let's go check on him. Hey, look. They're jumping on the bed together. Boing, boing, boing. Now this guy can jump. Let's kill him. I just like how they pop. Shysters, I did not know that was a slang term for lawyers. Good to know. The more you know. Dot gif. Mallow reaches level 5. HP goes up considerable amount. Magic attack goes up. That's good. Gonna have to go with HP, because that's four, and that's good. Four is good. So I beat the guy. What does he have to say? I can still jump the highest. Yeah, you go, kid. I'm gonna go with the one on the table first, because that would be annoying. Get out of here. These graphics, uh, they remind me a little bit of The Sims. Um, it's got the isometric type of view, and then in the house, you can see all the tiles. It's almost like a, a Sims house or something. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Alright. Thanks, Mario. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Got a flower tab. Thanks, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Thanks for saving my brother. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and use that flower tab to increase... Hey, I got two. I've, I apparently had one from earlier, so... 20, 21. Always good. So this guy's jumping on their house like on the house I wouldn't want that happening to my house so let's kill him kill them all we're actually getting close to um, the first major boss of the game the one that has the first star piece which uh, if you remember from the intro 
or if you didn't see the intro, um, the whole point of this game, the whole storyline, is that a giant evil sword crashed through the Star Road, which is in uh, space, I guess. Uh, but the sword crashes through the Star Road and crashes into Bowser's Keep. And when it does that, not only does it knock Bowser, Mario, and Peach and spread them out throughout the world, uh, but it also... The seven pieces of the Star Road, the star pieces, get blasted off into parts of the world. So the whole point of the game is you collect all seven star pieces. Um, the first star piece boss is coming up relatively soon. And then I'll probably end the stream after that. Um, I need to, like, stretch or something. I've been sitting down all day. But it's all good. Hey, remember Raz and Rainy? Rainy says, I found the perfect place for a wedding, but now we're all stuck inside. Yeah, she's right. I guess we can put it off until the things cool down around here. Cool. This guy's getting chased. Let's see what's going on inside. But I want to play outside! It's scary outside, so let's play indoors, alright? But I want to play outside! Alright. All guy... Didn't this game have a subtitle? Yes, it's uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. I think he's blind or senile. I don't think anybody's having a good time right now. They're getting terrorized. I'm going to fight this guy for him. My shackles. Oy vey. That was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Hey, that's the wallet. The crocodile swiped from me. Can I have it back? Sure, or no way. I'm going to go with sure because I think you actually get something from that, so... Yeah. Thank you so much. Here, I'll give you this as a reward. Go on now, take it. Got a flower tab. See? It pays to uh, be honest. Also pays to be dishonest, too, uh, in this game, which we'll find out later, too. So Toad's getting chased as well. Better take care of him. Alright. Thanks, Mario. We'll continue to stand watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. One ten coins. I'm shaken, but not stirred. Ha. <laughs> I see what you did there. Actually, let's see what the other guy has to say, too. Same thing. Okay. Uh, there's a sign on the counter. Please leave the correct amount of money for the items, manager. Okay, so you can buy items um, from the sign instead of from the person. Jump up here again. There's no... No nothing? Okay. This guy's shaking. Excuse me? You want to... What? How can you shop at a time like this? Just take what you want. And leave some money behind. Eh, I don't need anything right now. Let's check out the inn. Hey, it's the guy that was asleep. What's up, guy? Was the princess kidnapped by those things outside? Are they a part of this? I guess we'll find out. Let's save it. Always good to save. I want to mess with the Game Boy guy again. Oh, shut up. Don't talk to me now. 
Don't talk to me now. Oh, now look, I lost because of you. I'm considering picking this game up, this game back up, and learning how to speedrun it. It's nice to see people still love this game as much as I do. Glad to hear that, good boy in or good boyin. Um, but I think I'm safe in saying that probably nobody else loves this game as much as me. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. But seriously, this is my favorite game ever. I love it. But yeah, it's good to know that other people actually like it too. Um, yeah, because most people are all about Final Fantasy VII and all this other stuff. But uh, that's awesome, man. Watching and bit. Oh, hey, welcome back, Flover. You joined. You came back. Yay! Are you on your tablet or your phone or laptop? Just curious. Okay, this is a guy that was asleep. See, I'm wide awake now. I guess it's time for me to win big cash. Which, uh, the, the more you talk to him later on, um, the more you'll see what he's talking about. He wants to win big cash. Uh, Vidoy, I think they were actually going to release this for the N64, but um, maybe I'm wrong. I, all I know is that um, Paper Mario was originally called Super Mario RPG 2. Um... So that may be why they didn't release it for the N64. Everything wouldn't have been so pixelated. That's a possibility, but um, if you've ever played Paper Mario on the actual N64, uh, or... Uh, I mean, it is 3D, but they're flat 3D, so it's almost 2D. It was pretty pixelated, but I know what you mean. It wouldn't have been as pixelated as this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the town is under attack. People are stuck in their homes. Gloomy music, gloomy skies. It's all dark. But if you walk in front of this chick... Oh, she doesn't do it. Okay, you have to talk to her. But still, she pulls this stupid crap. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. And you have to jump. Ha, gotcha. Yeah, you got me. That's that's what you did there. Uh, so let's see what the secret guy behind the house has to say. Help the people in the castle and they might just help you. Or they just might help you, rather. I wonder if this guy's supposed to be like... I mean, just a sage... kind of mystery character. I mean, obviously, but... I wonder if is he has an analog to anything else. It kind of reminds me of Q from Star Trek, but um, he's not really everywhere. He's only in one spot, so. Mario 64 graphics with this game uh, gameplay? That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, N64 can have 32 by 32 SNES only has 16 by 16 did not know that uh, as you can tell there's a constant stream of uh, bad guys coming out of there so you can avoid them remember this is that one room that had peaches question mark question mark question mark so we're gonna go up there but I'm gonna take out these guys first for the XP Always gotta have that XP, though. Especially since there's a boss fight coming up uh, relatively soon. Um, if I can squeeze in another level, that would not hurt. Uh, everything, indeed, on here was pre-rendered, just like uh, Donkey Kong Country. It's the same kind of technology, I think. Uh, rendered and then turned into sprites. Um, but it does use like a 3D plane, but... Um, well, an isometric plane. Not true 3D, I guess. But it does have height, width, length, all that good stuff. I'm gonna remake this game in Gary's Mod. Sweet! I don't know how you would do that, but... Uh, that would be awesome. I would watch a stream of that. Hint, hint.
Uh, believe it or not, a few weeks ago, I actually did a little bit of Googling, and there was one guy who was working on a, a 3D kind of remake sort of thing a while back, but... Hold on. that Hold that thought. Uh, so you walk up to these guys, and they're like, Not so fast, pal. Look at him. Can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head. Thanks. So yeah, they attack you. They jump you. <laughs> they jump you. Because they, they jump. <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the HD 3D remake. Um, but as far as I could tell, he only did like a um, some models. Like he made some models in 3D. And I think he had like an online, uh, kind of like a meeting place, almost like Second Life, which is weird. Um, but he canceled that. So probably a cease and desist or whatever, but it was an interesting little thing. Uh, so if, in case you missed it, Mario learned Super Jump, which is a very good special attack. Um, I'll just go ahead and up the attack so I can do more base damage. I don't really have to worry about HP that much. So I won't. Might look like 3D, but technically it's 2D since it can't be rotated. That is correct. Okay. I'm going to fight some more guys, but I'm not going to grind in here. Um, it's 42 XP will take a while. Save block. Going to save that. Uh, one second. I will be right back. I'm going to leave the window open, so just stand by. Every time that happens, uh, the freaking volume of the game goes down. Like, the Steam volume kicks it out. Actually, I think if I turn down the Steam volume, it might fix that. Let's try that. Alright, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we're back. Sorry for that delay. We gotta save. Let's talk to the toads. What are those things out there anyway? Oh, I should probably close this window and bring up the chat. There we go, alright. What are those things anyway? Uh, they're shysters. Just making sure stream was up. Everything's good. Okay. Oh no! The Chancellor's still in the throne room. Well, you may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? So that flash right there, um, that is actually the eff effect that you get when uh, you get one of those mushrooms in a treasure chest. So she's actually healing us. Uh, I mean, you only need to do it once, but I'm just doing that for effect so you can see what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, she actually heals you, and uh, that's good. I'm scared. And you can't find the princess's question mark, question mark, question mark more than once. Um, so it's not there anymore. Hey, good boy, and uh, you still in the thread? Or, the thread, the stream? Just curious. So remember these chests? There's no guard here. He's busy. So I'm going to take these. Because I can. Alright. Uh, but I'm going to help him. So You know, I never actually realized that, Vidoy. Uh, dark when you go outside, but when you go inside the castle, the light's shining through. That's that's a pretty good uh, observation. Although in the battle, I know it's because it's a separate layer and you can't have like a tons of special effects going on at once, but in the battle scene, um, there is no light shining through and there's also no flames on the candle. Uh, which there are on the actual uh, level.
Ooh, three of them. Still not going to waste the Thunderbolts. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use it because I have the healer lady who um, can restore that. So, yeah. Two in one. He looks so lost. That that vaults guard. I came here to save him, and he runs into the next room. Well, so much for him. What a guy. What a guy. He looks scared. But who cares? There's a bed to jump on. Yay! All right. Never mind that. Guess what I found? It's a gold coin! A gold coin! It's all mine! Oh, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. Gotta wake up and... I guard the vault. No one takes our treasure. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Nobody. Gonna get the guy that's chasing him down. Now that was really scary. Everyone's hiding in the princess's bedroom. I and some others couldn't escape in time. I hope no one got hurt. You're in one piece. Thanks to Mario, of course. Saved by Mario again. How could I ever thank you enough? Oh no, the chances are still in the throne room. What? That's terrible. But with Mario around, we're safe, right? Anyone who's in chat, uh, or the stream, we're safe, right, with Mario? I'll wait a sec. Hmm. Also, um, I'm going to check my thing real quick here. You bet! All right. Enthusiasm. Um, then you get flower. Yeah, I know. There we go now. Hey, wait. Hang on for a sec, okay? Please take this. The princess would be happy to know you have something of hers. Got a flower tab. Now that may be the uh, thing. Uh, the princess is question mark, question mark, question mark, but I highly doubt it. Because why would Toad have it? And they're saying the same thing. Oh, good luck, Mario. Give him a heck. So I'm going to save because I think the next thing would be a boss fight. Let me check the XP, see if I can level up real quick. Uh, not really, no. Okay, so let's head on to it with, while avoiding most of the guys that I can. There's also a thing you can do over here. I, there's like a way that you can actually um, put it on my tab. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to that. Where do you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long. And there's no one who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away. Boing, 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 boing. There's actually a glitch that you can do that I've seen done but I've never been able to pull off uh, apparently if you jump just right you can skip past this fight and you can actually just talk right to the um, the Chancellor and you don't have to fight mech uh, I'll try but I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to do that so oh, yeah didn't happen oh well but yeah look it up on YouTube or something uh, I've seen it and it's crazy so this guy, he looks like a sword, but a smaller version of a sword. So he's either a dagger or a knife, which if you look at his name, Mac, Mac the Knife, 
That's an old song. I don't know if it's anything else, but I know it is an old song. So, yeah, Mac the Knife. Anyway, listen up, gang. These guys are going to put a stop to our party. Are we really happy about this? You're asking for it. Oh, you're going to get it. You picked the wrong people to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that other mustache? And Mario's like, bring it on. Come at me, bro. So yeah, this is the first major boss battle of the game. Um, hope I don't die. But I don't think I will. So I'm going to go with the soup. No, that's going to be hard to... Actually, I'm going to go with the super jump. Even though... Um, Uh, I'm going to try the super dump, even though it's going to be hard to time with the lag and stuff. But let's find out. Let's see what happens. Not too bad. 150? Not too shabby. Max stunned. Awesome. Let's do it again. Even more. 169. Yeah, baby. Flame wall. I love this effect. It is so cool. Uh, I mean, for a Super Nintendo game. It's almost like 3D. Let's see if this finishes him off. Nope. Uh, yes. It, my, Mac is a little demon dude on top, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just like the Shy Guys are on top of their little pogo sticks. Um, this guy, Mac, is the guy on top. Uh, yeah, I think you are correct, sir. I ate your pie, huh? I'm going to have to f check that person out. No more fire points, but, or flower points, but I think he's on, there it is. Make it rain. That wasn't really that much. First cinematic. Yay, I got the first star piece. Awesome. I'm probably going to, after I finish up the saving and everything, um, probably going to go ahead and call it quits here in just a minute, but stay to the end, uh, if you don't mind. Have I ever played Earthbound? No, I have not. Uh, I've played Smash Bros, obviously. I love Smash Bros. Uh, I like Ness a lot, but I've never played Smash Bros. I'm an idiot. I've never played Earthbound. Yeah. This is not good. This is not good. The mustachoid one is strong. Strong, yes! We must win the boss. Come on! Hey, uh, Vito, you might be right. Uh, shy, the, about the shysters not being real shy guys, since they're made by Smithy. That is... That is true. He does crank him out in the uh, last battle. Um, that doesn't mean every uh, every monster in the game is made by Smithy. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure the frogs and goombas and stuff aren't. But later on in the game, there are actual shy guys. The ones that shoot you with the... Um, well, what do you call it? The... Sh the uh, Jesus Christ. Slingshot. There you go. Anyway. Chancellor is uh, freaking out over there. I'm going to jump on him. Oh. 
gracious! Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. Oh, yeah. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're alright. Mario, so it was you who got us through all this. We owe much to you. First a princess, and now this? It's just too much to bear. Mario? How about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything. Bullet Bill is in this game, yes. Uh, yeah, he's in the game, but you can't fight Bullet Bill. You actually fight the things that they are shot out of. Uh, excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. Mario, please! You must rescue the princess! Now! Mario, I'm in your debt, too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait, why did I even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. You're an idiot, dude. You came to Mushroom Kingdom for the coin. Could Mac, the sword-like monster who crashed into Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on towards the Cairo sewers. So let's talk to everybody real quick. Go to the inn, go to the uh, item shop, save it, and go from there. All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Where could the princess be? We're all counting on you to find her, Mario. We know you won't let us down. So long, Mario. And good luck. Alright. Talk to the people in the room. It doesn't seem like the princess is that far away. I can almost feel her presence. Boing, boing, boing. And let's see what these guys have to say. Same thing. Okay. I'm standing guard! Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess you didn't notice that they were stolen. Awesome. I already talked to the Chancellor. Let's see what Secret Dude has to say. Trample the monsters. Smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me. On this one. Alright. Item shop. Talk to the old guy. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Hey, mister. I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? Got a cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. I don't think you have anything new. Nope. Let's go to the inn. Talk to the guy if he's there. He's not. Always go to the inn. Uh, you'll find some interesting cameos, which... Wait, hold on. This is the highest score. Wait, hold on. Highest score. Wait, wait. Oh, now look. I lost because of you. You have to save up, I think it's 500 coins. Um, and then you can actually buy that Game Boy from him. Pretty sure I already said that. but Alright, so the game is saved. Um, let's just take a look at the map and see what is next for next time, which I might do tonight. Um, 
I don't know if any of you guys stay up late, uh, or if it's even late where you live in the in your part of the world. Um, but, yeah, if you guys are up, I might stay up later and uh, start uh, Act 2, Kuro Sewers. Um, but yeah, there's the map. I'm going to go ahead and save it in the emulator as well. Just have a backup. Awesome. Game is saved. Stream is done. Uh, I want to say thanks to everyone who's joined uh, the stream today. Again, pretty awesome of you guys to, uh, to follow on here on Twitch. Um, thanks for your commentary. Look forward to doing this again soon. You guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. Later.